Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. Long as we use logic and common sense. Last season, we returned to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning, going through Psalms 26 to 50. In this season, a new topic, what does it mean to be more like Jesus? Many Christians place a lot of stress on becoming more like Jesus, but what exactly does that mean? Does it refer to doing carpentry professionally, living in Galilee, curing illnesses, multiplying loaves and fish, walking on water, coming back from the dead? Fortunately, not all of the qualities that Jesus demonstrates in the Gospels are quite as hard to attain as those. Jesus also had many qualities that any person can work towards without any of that. So many, in fact, that it will probably take a while to go over them all, so I thought it would be best to start with the highest relationships of Jesus, beginning with the supreme relationship, his relationship to God. Today, we'll be talking about the devotion of Jesus to God the Father and the various forms it takes. Jesus' devotion to doing the will of his Father was apparent from a very young age. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, hearing them, and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astounded at his wisdom and his answers. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Luke 2, 46, 47, and 49 In this devotion to doing God's will, we also see a commitment to learn what he can from experts and other wise men, but always keeping the will of his father in mind. Again the devil took him up into a very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and said to him, All these will I give thee, if falling down thou wilt adore me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, The Lord thy God shalt thou adore, and him only shalt thou serve. Matthew 4, 8-10 Even before his ministry began, the devil attempted to bribe Jesus into turning away from the service of God, and it was utterly fruitless. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law to fall. Luke 16, 17 These words were spoken by Jesus, explaining that the law of God is immutable and absolutely reliable, a most worthy thing to be devoted to. For whosoever shall do the will of God, He is my brother, and my sister, and mother. Mark 3.35 Even family ties matter less than doing God's will. However, And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject to them. And his mother kept all these words in her heart. Luke 2.51 That doesn't mean our family ties don't matter at all. They still matter, and we should still honor our parents and be subject to them, especially while we're young, just not to the point where it causes us to turn away from God. But Martha was busy about much serving, who stood and said, Lord, hast thou no care that my sister hath left me alone to serve? Speak to her, therefore, that she help me. And the Lord answering said to her, Martha, Martha, Thou art careful and art troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary hath chosen the best part, which shall not be taken away from her. Luke 10, 40-42 Of course, since our family bonds matter less than God's will, so do all other practical concerns, even things like hospitality. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterwards he was hungry. And the tempter coming said to him, If thou thou be the Son son of God, God, command command these these stones stones be made made bread. bread. Who answered and said, It is written, Not in bread alone doth man live, but in every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Matthew 4, 2-4 Finally, even if we're hungry or deeply dissatisfied, we need to remember that God's will comes first. We can have satisfaction afterwards, but some things are more important than that. God could have easily provided Jesus with bread to eat miraculously, but the miracle wouldn't have been seen by anyone, wouldn't have won over any souls, and for Jesus to command the satisfaction of his own desires first would have been a step in the direction of selfishness and away from God's will. So Jesus' devotion to God, his law and his will, was absolute. He never wavered in that devotion and put it before anything else in priority. 
From this, we can learn that our relationship with God is by far the most important relationship, which we too should think about first, every time we have a choice to make. Next time, the humility of Jesus. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.